Naughty girls, boys, and my non-binary babes, welcome back to another episode of Antics with Ash. Who have I got on today other than my best friend and mortal enemy, Jack Remington? <laughs> Mr. Remington. He's got fluff on his legs and he's cleaning it all. Um, you look really tea, if that's any consolation. Why would it be a consolation? Because... I'm in hell. You are in hell. <laughs> Basically, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in the water this week. Me and Jack feel like arse. As in, we in just... a bad way as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not like not like a good peachy, like, BBL arse. No. We feel shit. Like a botched BBL is what I feel like this week. Like that. I feel like I felt like that for, like, two weeks. You felt like that for two decades. <laughs> <laughs> I've I never known you not be a botched BBL. <sighs> I don't know what it is. Um, I know for me, which is yeah. why I am. So, one day... <laughs> oh, God. Basically, right, I moved into a flat by myself, didn't Wait, I? Wait, take your glasses off, because I wanted to look into your eyes. I look sleigh boots in them, though. No, no just get a on. quick shot and then... All right. Do a lip quiver. Teen. I'll take them off and we can lips. <laughs> you look really good. The lighting's hitting. It's not just the Guys, light. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, last time, is it in the same place? Yeah, no, no, I don't know right. if it is. Guys, the Where funniest... Where did I sit last time, then? The funniest thing happened last... But... It, was it in a ponytail? Yeah, yeah, it was the behind. No, if we do the... Can we do the full shot? Guys, that's what it was. The it wasn't funniest like it was the full thing shot. happened last time and there's been a load it, of comments. Because I'll back to it, that's it. And it basically, the way that Jack was sitting the last like time we did a pod together. And I'm in an Ariana hoodie as well. Yeah. And, yeah, and it looked like he was wearing the wig and everyone had lost it. As a really high pony. Yeah. Focus on me. <laughs> fo fo focus on me. Focus on me. <laughs> like, that is... It's so good. If I felt like that right now, I wouldn't be depressed. I completely agree. It's super... It looks super imposed. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was. I wish I was hey. AI. So, yeah, anyway, go on. Anyway, so, let, is. Let's talk about... Moved into a flat by myself. OK. Well, yes. Been doing it up for what feels like decades. Uh, 18 years. Which, yeah. by the way, people think that me and Jack live together, and I always just reply with a massive I would rather tackle. die. <laughs> yeah, so would you. Bought this... <laughs> it is gorgeous. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. But it's just taken a lot of work. Yeah. And this week was always going to be a bit testing because we're having the wardrobes fitted all week in yeah. both the bedrooms and a uh, cabinet in the lounge, so there's no real place to put anything because everything's mm -hmm. being worked on. And then I'm so set on this specific sofa that's coming on Friday that I realised once I bought it that it was too wide for the corridor, so I'm having to have it put through the window. I'm having the sash window taken out by a removal company, they're hoisting it up and putting it through the window. I'm not gonna lie, I've always thought this about furniture and like, particularly London flats. How yeah. does anyone get anything? So a lot of them, so a lot of the brands nowadays, the big selling point is like, you can deliver it in parts and you kind of put it together yourself like Ikea. Right. So like Snog and Swift and a lot of those companies that make nice sofas come in very small pieces that you can assemble yourself. I'm getting one from Loaf, which has cost me a fortune, but I'm obsessed with it. Right. It's the perfect sofa. Also, that's like an integral part of the home. This is what I'm saying. I looked yeah. and looked and looked. And As in, that's where that we're going to make love most evenings. We. Yes. Yeah, in French, we. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so I was like, no, this is the one that I want. Right. <laughs> so it's having to come through the window. <laughs> You know oh. God, it took me ages. I know, the penny. Sorry. Finally. Bloody hell. The nickel and the dime. <laughs> um, so I decided that's the one I want. Yeah. Bex, our mate, yeah. is one step less clued in than us, obviously. Okay. Is at the best of times, she's not all Agreed, there. yeah. <laughs> she ordered the dream sofa a couple of years ago, not even thinking about the stairs, and it arrived, and she went, oh, that doesn't fill the stairs. There's this huge long one, and you remember As where in I in used your to old live flat. With the no, there's no way. Smaller than my current ones. So she just Googles how to get sofa up to top floor, <laughs> finds, this, finds this company, which I will, if we love them, I've name dropped Sofa Assist, and I'm praying that they're tea. If it hasn't worked on Friday, you can add in a bit here where I go. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Because yeah, I am also using them. Okay. She said they were fab. She said that she literally rang up. And we... I don't understand though, unless you're chopping it into so that's what sawing she... it into parts. So that's what happened with hers. You either pay a <gasps> cheaper amount if it's not too high up, because I'm only second floor of two. 
and they're like hoisting it up and putting it through, that's a lot cheaper than dismantling the sofa, taking it upstairs and putting it back together. Because obviously you as a layperson couldn't do that, but as a profession, they know what they're doing, blah, blah, blah. So Bex did that. Luckily, they were free on that day within two hours and it wasn't raining. She was sat on that road that we've been on a million times. With, with, with just her, a sofa? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the sofa, yeah. sat on the sofa. Yeah, in a sauna. <laughs> yeah. So is. I am having that situation happen Friday. All that would have been a stress anyway, right? Because it's all upheaval. Monday morning, I was so gleeful that I was doing all my bits. I'd got really ahead of things, like ready for the travel show, episode two, three, yeah, lunch, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I turn around, whack my new coffee mug, and it spills all over my computer. Now this is this is a scam. This is hell. What's the scam? Apple, you will be dealt with, trust. Oh, really? Are we tearing them down brick by brick? Apple by apple, <laughs> seed by seed, core, core by core. core. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, so, I have, as you know, our, one of our many points of difference is that I'm a big insurance girly. You go, rah, I'll fly by the seat of my car. I literally don't care. At all. I don't care for my life. Right. I don't care for anything. I don't care for my life. I don't have life insurance. Rah, who cares? I just think if I die, I die. Yes. If I die, that. let me die. But so. same with belongings, really. Which I know is and silly. And that serves you well, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's been hell for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, well, I'm about to come to your side because I was like, great, okay, cool. I'll always have Apple Care, Apple Care Plus, in fact, like all the top beach stuff. More than a tenner a month for my laptop, right? That's clutter. Right? It breaks. I go round the corner to the like Apple affiliate thing. Oh, I've spilled coffee all over this. He goes and checks it, and he goes, "Yes, um, the motherboard and also five more components are uh, broken now." And uh, I don't know why I'm doing a yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ash, <laughs> I had a look the at the radiator. Is broken. It's broken. Um, and he goes, yeah, unfortunately, because more than four of the components are broken, it's classed as catastrophic damage, and Apple Care doesn't cover it. Catastrophic damage. It was basically one Nespresso pod and a bit of water. Yeah, in it. As in, so get? what? Catastrophic damage. I would have thought catastrophic, catastrophic would be like damage. catastrophic damage. Um, um, I thought that would have like been like if someone Brimfire, shat on it. House of the Dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah If yeah, it got yeah. grayscale, I'd be like, okay, yeah. fine. Great you scale. can't fix it. <laughs> we just find it so funny. Grayscale is so to say funny. that anything has yeah. grayscale. As soon as you have the <laughs> tiniest bit of dry skin, well, I've got grayscale. That's it. <laughs> Oh, my God. As in, Jack actively tells people in public, if he sees that I haven't creamed my elbows for that morning, oh, he'll scale. be like, no, don't worry, Ash has just got grayscale. Right, nipple. Oh. <gasps> oh, you've got grayscale. Good for you, girl. Grey nipple. Um, um, that's probably been out for the past it hour. Hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't. It hasn't. I, I haven't um, well, do you know what? Happy fucking Thursday. <laughs> Free for a pound. <laughs> <laughs> so, I go, right, OK. Yeah. Well, what's that about then? So I'm absolutely in hell this week. I've had, you know I live and breathe by that computer. I, I know. I can't do admin and stuff on my phone. Jack is extremely organised. Yeah. Like, there's organised people and then there's Jack. Correct. To the point where, like, you literally put in, like, playtime. <laughs> there is no playtime. No, well, they, no, no, we have playtime on your new sofa after sofa assist putting Yeah, in. we will do on Friday. <laughs> No, but yeah, you do. You everything is really down. No, it is to the letter. Yeah, like shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally has. It is when I get back from the gym, so I know I've got no, he time does. to then go on and do something else. It's literally like shower eleven till eleven fifteen. Eleven ten. I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say you are so quick in the shower. I am. Why don't do you not like it? revel in a shower? No. Really? Cleanse my face, wash my hair, wash my body. Boom. Do you have the same thing as, you know, like, the girlies that, I like... I use conditioner, so that's less time than you. Do you not? No, never. You know, like, girlies will say they have an everything shower. Right. Do you, do you have the equivalent? Well, no, because you Do the gays have the equivalent? <laughs> what do you think we do? <laughs> Every one shower, yeah. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> yeah, in <isn't> it? <laughs> um... But I, no, because obviously, like, when I, I wash my hair every time I get in the shower, whereas you do, like, a hair wash shower or not. Oh, God, but I have imagine. to get the I have to get the wax out of mine every day, so I just shower, I do everything every time. It's not going to take long. But you're in there 0 0.5 seconds. Yeah. Like, do, but do you enjoy showers, though? That is what I'm saying to you. Not particularly, but I ain't got time to waste. <laughs> I've got coffee mugs to spill and laptops to break. Yeah, it, it what? So you're just like, who cares? I don't, you'll never have just, like, a, I'm chilling this evening. Not a shower. I'll go for a walk if I want to chill. 
What? You, know you what are so thing. cracked out at the minute. I know. Jack, basically, so we're in our skinny bags. I'm not there yet. Jack's actually in his skinny bag right now. I'm getting there. You are. But says me with a Nutella cookie on the table. Was that Nutella? Yeah. Oh. It is. But I'll just give it a smell, obviously, because I'm in my skinny bag. Yeah, fair. Something's got to give, though, because I did a Barry's class this morning and I've walked everywhere on these four foot 11 legs. Like, are you joking? Well, we did a, like, 70 minute walk back from Central to mine yesterday. This is what's killing me. Jack basically has boycotted the tube. I've realised my, well, I would say my quality of life is better, but obviously I'm, I've got more grayscale this week than I have. <laughs> Yeah, in it. <laughs> but no, in general it is. As in, I'm getting like 20,000 steps in a day and I love it. I just... So... Just why would you get the tube if you can walk? Because I, I agree. Because enough that I can do that. I guess that's the... I agree. But yesterday, we were on Oxford Street together and I didn't manage to get a workout in. Me and you had been together all day, like, mm. filming something and we were knackered. And I just said, I've not got it in me to get to the gym tonight. There's just no way. Chat went, do you want to just walk all the way to Liverpool Street? <laughs> I went, what? I went, there is a tube. He went... Yeah, who gives a ass? So we walked 90 minutes. I thought... Three and a half miles, yeah, it was great. Yeah, I nearly crumbled to a cinders by the end. You were fine because you've been walking everywhere. I was like this. <laughs> you did well, though. I was impressed. Because we had bags and all. We had so... I had so... I did have a lot. Yeah. I did have a lot going on. Anyway. Anyway. So that's the little update so on I'm in our hell, sad little but lives. my point is I'm generally not that in hell. It's just this week is, you know... <laughs> yes you we need to get to the bottom of because you live in hell. I I'm only reside... on a fleeting trip. I've got my return flight booked, you don't. No, I reside in hell at all times and I don't know why. I'm trying to work it out, guys. Basically, I just feel like... Overwhelmed is what you feel. I feel like I'm overwhelmed all the time and I can't, like, enjoy anything at the minute. Like, everyone's saying, like, wow, look at all these things you're doing or, like, this looked great. I saw you post about this and I'm like... It's only as good as you feel about it. Exactly. As in, like, everyone can s blow smoke up my ass till yeah. the sun comes home. I'm still in hell. Yeah. So I need to get to the bottom of this. We are, obviously, we've said for ages, therapy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm sick of saying it. OK. I, uh, right, fine. Well, now I have to hold myself accountable because okay, I've told, well, great. I've told everyone, I'm Tell getting therapy. <laughs> period, dot. <laughs> yeah, OK, period. As of when? When are you going to inquire? Tomorrow? I could inquire tomorrow. I Let's have a free day tomorrow. tomorrow. Fine. Well, we need to chat about the travel show tomorrow as well. But that's oh, enough. God, that's see? Good. Overwhelmed. Ah, so it's my so fault much to you're do. the therapist. That's what it's you get a lot of. We shouldn't do things together and then you'll be fine. I think we just should be friends, then I'll be fine. Here, here. <laughs> um, OK, what I do, what I do want to chat about, though, is... Jack! Our labour of love. A yeah, child. our child, our future child. Our, like... Just before what? that, though, I actually do want to talk about that quickly. Mm. What are people's thoughts on best friends having children? <laughs> best friends who live. Best friends. What are people's thoughts on best friends that have sex? <laughs> Make mm. your mind up. <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely, me and Jack have had... And I'm not... I know we piss about, right? We have had genuine conversations about this. Well, I've always said, haven't I, about that article that I read? Years and years and years ago. Explain. So it started out with two women who I believe were straight. They mm. were in relationships with men, had children around a very similar time with said men. They were best mates, the women. The dads left at a similar time. OK. And the mums were like, well, shit, what do we do now? Because we can't afford to live in the houses that we were in mm. with the dads who've left. We've got these kids to look after. And they went, well, hang on. Why don't we work together and move in together? And then we can kind of, like, semi-co-parent right. these children together. So they weren't in a relationship. They weren't mm -hmm. attracted to each other, which would be different for us, obviously, because you are attracted to me. <laughs> but they, they basically co-parented their children. Yeah. And... <laughs> I just think it's so nice, because I've always said this about us, though. Like, yeah. We have never fallen out. There was one time no. I said I didn't like your eyelash extensions and you didn't talk to me for a few days. But <laughs> other than that... No, guys, no. That pissed me off. I'm going to tell you exactly why. I'm not an eyelash extension girly, right? Anymore, because I'm... Told yeah, you. anymore, because you berated me for it. You, are you joking? You sent me to the chokey for getting a few lashes. I'll tell you what happened. Good. 
I know they didn't look good. <laughs> I will tell you what happened. Li Linda, listen. Basically, I had this eyelash, this lovely little boutique eyelash. But all right, skinny bag, what's going on? I'll do, I'll do 10,000 steps in a sec, don't worry. In it, you'll I walk... want the saints to go marching on. I'm pissing off in 10. You walk all the way to Brixton in a minute. It's fine. In it. Um, Get so you some lashes. But... <laughs> so basically, I'll tell you what happened. This... Not you two eating. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Honestly, right, there's no have, rules if, here anymore. Don't put it there if you don't want to eat it. I agree. Should have been artificial. This, <laughs> AI. This is what happened, right? Some little cute boutique place got in touch and said, Ash, we'd love to do your eyelashes. Oh, was it? Yes. I was well before you did content, though. No, I had like a few, like a few followers. It wasn't like anything when you mad. Were in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this was fine. just when I was slaggy on Instagram. Fine. And they basically three days ago. <laughs> yes, which is yesterday. <laughs> I turned a new leaf as of last night at midnight. Therapy leaves, grayscale <laughs> be gone. In it. <laughs> so basically, they said we want to do your lashes. I was like. I'm not an eyelash extension girly, but me and Jack were going on holiday literally two, day, two days later. So I said, this is kind of perfect. I think we'll go, where were we going? To a hot country. India. India, yeah. So in my head, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to be one of those girlies. I'm going to wear a lick of SPF. I'm going to have lashes all done. I'm literally going to look a million dollars like Bella Hadid, right? Don't need to do anything. It's a hot climate. Bella and Hadid, you look shit. <laughs> <laughs> I get to the fucking airport. I get to the, the airport. airport. Did I say at the airport? Yeah. No, as in I do, I take this. That's this what was, was an peak. old me. I've grown. I, I wouldn't say that to you now. Fine. I get to the airport. This was what? Five, Bear in mind. 2018. You can't it? rip them out. They're on. They're lash extensions. They Sadly. are. They are very much on. Right? I get to the airport. First thing Jack does is goes, what the fuck <laughs> are those? And I went, what? And he went, those lashes are disgusting. And I just went, Did I lie? <laughs> Did I Did lie? I Did I lie? <laughs> we just, we, when I tell you, that was the most <sighs> silent plane journey me and Jack have ever had. As in, he was literally texting me on the plane before we took off, like, are we all right? And yeah, I was like, no. Nah. I got the karma, because you remember on the way back yeah. from India, I was doubling, troubling, toiling, tribbling. I absolutely could not hold it together for like oh, two yeah. weeks. I got the worst stomach. I had that old auntie sitting next to me who didn't speak a lick of English, giving me coriander seeds. <laughs> and I just kept to try and fix my rum tum tuggery. No. I had to just keep running to the toilet to pray. Mm, this is really Delicious, good. Delicious, isn't it? Wow, sorry, I am eating sure on I the bar. I smell on here. It's well nice. <clears throat> it? Okay. Shade Nutella. Um, India was the craziest. Uh, okay, me and you just go off on such a tangent. There's so much I want to chat about. Okay, I do want to talk about India because India was really funny, but... Oh, and your massage. <laughs> a good segue into this is Jack and I <laughs> have just launched a travel show! Woo! Um, we want to talk about it. This is literally... This has been our baby for the past, what, four months? Longer. It was September, wasn't it? October that we went. Was it? Nearly six months, yeah. So, basically, the crux of it is... If you are a day one, you know that me and Jack, tra Jack and I, travel the world together. Mm -hmm. And every time we do, it is... Tom Fulry, chaos and shenanigans. <laughs> but, and we basically just looked at each other and we were like, why are we not doing a show on this? This makes no sense. Every time we went away, all of you guys were always messaging us like, oh my God, my heart skips a beat when I see you two in an airport. Because I'm always like... know to dodge an airport if we're there as well, because we're the worst look ever. Yes. You're, if, you, if you see us on a plane together, you go, could I possibly change to a it's different gonna, airline? It's going to, because the plane's going go to go down. About to go down, yeah, and yell timber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we were like, oh, my God, the people want this. Like, oh. everybody loves it when we're away. It makes no sense to not make something more of this. Let's give the people what they want. So... And by God did we do that! And by God... By Jove! So, we basically ended up... Funding it ourselves. Funding it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we kissed and then we funded the show ourselves. Mm -hmm. In that um, order. Yes. <laughs> the point of it was... I think it is nice to talk about why we ended up doing it ourselves. I agree. I, so, for people who aren't in the industry, mm -hmm. I think a lot of the time we talk to people who are like creators or yeah. managers and whatever, and obviously the vast majority of people aren't that. Mm -hmm. 
it is so hard to get anything commissioned or picked up. Yeah. And by that, it means, like, if you have any TV show that is on telly right now, mm -hmm. probably went to five other different channels beforehand, yeah. it might have been in creation for two or three years, whether this is a travel show or a reality yeah. show or a game show, whatever. Nothing just... Unless you're a huge person... You know, in the same with films, I guess, unless you're, yeah. like... Christopher Nolan or Tarantino Timothy and you go, I want a film and it's just there. <laughs> it like hoop after hoop after hoop. And I also didn't know this. No. Before getting into this industry. No. I didn't know quite I knew there'd be checks and balances. Yeah, and I knew there'd be a, a, an amount of jumping through hoops to get yeah. these going, but I didn't realize to what extent it was. I was almost like if there's enough justification for a show, they just make it. Honestly, that's what yeah. I thought. And, and the thing was with us, case. we were just like, if you even if you want to be crude about it, you know, mm -hmm. and you have to take it to higher ups who tend to be older people who maybe don't see our content all the time and right. know what we're on about, we can say, right, here are the numbers. Every time we travel, there's some viral moment that ticks off something, mm -hmm. hopefully, that you can justify, whatever. Yeah. We don't want to work in those terms, but unfortunately, sometimes you just have to be like, yeah. here's the numbers to prove that this is going to work. Literally. And even with all that, and go into almost, we've had meetings with every channel that you could think of, really, mm -hmm. and streamer and whatever, multiple times. It's just to like, yeah, yeah, we love the idea, but unfortunately we're just, we're not really piloting much at the moment, which means putting the funding behind it. Lacy at the moment. Let us lacy at the moment. It's very, very lacy at the moment. And the problem is with that, <laughs> even if they are going to pilot something, the last thing they want to pilot and put money into is a travel show because it costs more because you're travelling abroad rather yeah. than doing like, can you do a travel show in Hull? No, Linda, unfortunately we can't. No. So... I was invited out to Finland by the Tourism Board mm -hmm. of Finland last year to show how LGBT friendly it is. And um, they said I could bring a plus one. Then it ended up not being along the LGBT route because that happened, but for some reason my dates didn't yeah. work out because that was. Although our hotel was. Oh my God, it was gay as tits. It was so gay. And we were basically I loved put in like a it. porn room, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, it was like. It, it was, was Thomas like... of Finland, who's a famous designer. Which I didn't like know. I didn't know before I got there. So I was like, oh my God. Everything's it's like, gay. It's like they made this hotel <laughs> for me and Jack. I was like, it's just gay men in bondage <laughs> on the walls. Obviously, I got there and it was like. Ah. And you went, hang on, have I left my room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did they get my wallpaper in here in Finland? What the Makes no sense. Um, and so we <laughs> end up going there. They said, yeah, you know, yeah. we'll um, put it all on, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So then we were like, right, if we know that accommodation, travel, mm -hmm. food and tour guides have all very kindly been paid for by... Yeah. I guess the Finnish tourist board, Helsinki mm -hmm. and Tampere, the two cities that we went to. Just to cut to, but we'll keep talking about it, but it just was an amazing place. Like, we, Oh, my God. It, it, I think it's done... Ex I'm hoping it, for their sake, has done exactly what they hoped, which is it's not... I would say in the top ten destinations. I love that, that a it's a rogue destination. About. I agree. Like, like we all say, Barcelona, maybe even Stockholm if you're going to do Scandinavia. But also boring. Copenhagen for Denmark, you know. But right, but Finland. Yeah is beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's so picturesque. They've got a really good balance of, like, lots of green space mm. right in the centre. You don't have to go yeah. well out. You know, when we were doing the mushroom forages, that was in a park in the centre of the city. Yeah. It was amazing. And also, if you're a foodie... Oh, You are gonna, oh, my so God. So fresh. Party in the clark mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, like, yeah. everything was, like, freshly sourced fish and this and that. It was so good, it was wasn't it? It was so nice. Yeah. So we were just like, right, if that's the situation and we know that we back ourselves enough mm. for the travel show idea and also that if we do want things picked up in future, it's so much easier to convince someone to do something when you can go, here's what it will look like yeah. if you fund a season two because we've already got evidence of a season one rather than like, picture this, Ash and I are doing mm -hmm. this and it's people who don't really get us. If know? there's one thing I've learned, it's literally that People actually often just can't use their imaginations. They need to see it. Yeah. You can explain something to the death yeah. and they still want to see it totally agree. done. And that's basically why we did it. We were like, we just need to do it because we know that this is just going to be yeah. so jokes. Yeah. And I think there's, you know, we were fortunate enough that we've saved up and we were like, right, this is expensive, mm -hmm. but this is something that we're really passionate about. We believe in massively. Yeah. And also, you know, I've been to chatting to different people about it recently. And I think beyond loads of other things, a big key pointer that we forget about is mm. this is just a gorgeous time capsule for us. If nothing else Do you know what's mad? This, I never thought of this. No, nor had I. And literally, Max said it to us the yeah. other day. Max yeah. was like, 
what a time capsule you have to look back at. When we have a kid and in it... 25 years. <laughs> It, and we go, in look two what years, we did before we have our on. child in two years. How iconic is that? We're so proud of it. And yeah. I keep saying this, and it's... My anecdote with the whole thing is, like, you always hear directors be like, it was such a labour of love, we really put our heart and soul yeah. into it. And you're like, rah, 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 whatever, just play the film. I actually get it now. Me too. Like, we were so hands-on with the edit. Cy, our producer, is incredible mm -hmm. and has put up with so much shit. He still is with us. He still is, yeah, and, he's our king. And it's just amazing that we feel like we've made something that is 100% us, mm. completely authentically us, 100% something we're proud of. There's yeah. not even bits where I'm like, oh, I hate that bit, I didn't like that. No. If we didn't like the way we looked or acted or said something in a certain cut, we got rid of it. Yeah. If it wasn't fast enough pace, we got rid of it, we changed the music. Mm -hmm. it, it's been something, it's something we're so proud of. We really are. And it was, I'd do it 100 times over. Me too. So. And yeah. next, what are we, I want to go to Rio. Yeah, so I went to Rio for the Olympics. Because I think it'll be chaos. Brazil is unreal. I oh, need Everyone's to go to Brazil. But I want to... All got BBLs. Because that's where it started, isn't it? As in, tanned BBLs and pipe. Yes. <laughs> that's Which is all I want. Yeah. From, from a city, right. really. So when are we going? <laughs> Tomorrow? Yeah, fine. Great, perfect. Um, it's... <laughs> and the music as well, very like... Sergey, boom, boom, oh. <laughs> I love it. As in, is it like reggaeton vibes? Kind of. Is there like a reggaeton Because it's Portuguese, not Spanish. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. a certain type of... Because it's got such a big population. Right. That they have their whole own music. I really do want to go during Carnival. Yeah, that's like February, I think. I know, we've just missed it. But that's more... It. I think that's more Sao Paulo. Is it? They do, I think they do carnival in every city, but I Fine. think I'm right in saying the big carnival is Sao Paulo, but we, right. they're not that far away from each other. You would go it. and do both cities. We have to. Guys, actually, what I would love is... If someone could pay... If someone could pay for, for that... For us to fly out... And put our batty creases on a plane tomorrow... On a plate... Yes. And then inject them. And gobble them up for dinner. No, I would love gobble to know the, where... Gobble you... the gab, gobble, gobble. Air so fat, all these bitches, pussies, are slime. No, yeah, seriously, I want to know where you want us to go next. Because it would be nice to get some... Yeah, ...recommendations true. of where Somewhere... people want to see us. But not the top ten places that a tourist would want to go, is the point. I don't oh, one need million someone million. If you say Dubai, I swear down. Well, I mean, I'm, you're not going to... I'm not taking you to Dubai. Dubai. Are you joking? <laughs> no, on a yacht no... in a thong? Yeah, in a yacht in a thong. <laughs> Me. No, they want you dead. No way, no way, no way. Quite a good way to go, though. Can you imagine? He died doing what he loved. Shaking his ass Shaking on a yacht. Shaking ass on a yacht. In Dubai true. in a thong. Come yeah. On. Molly knows that every episode, at least at some point, I say that. Yeah, it's iconic. It's true, it is iconic. Well, I'll go, Nella. Nella. Like, I'm going I know, and, and, that, I'm and that was the most perfect time to say it. I'm so clapped. Anyway, I want to chat about... <laughs> it's only right if we're talking about the travel show, all of our stupid experiences that we've had together while we've been travelling. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about some of them. I can't believe we've not actually talked about more of these already. We have so many stupid Clark travel stories. <laughs> as if we were, like, it. ranking... Obviously, there's the... The one that we spoke about on Chloe's part about you nearly dying from that booze tea. Yes, was, I've also spoke about that yeah, on which a was solo. a lot. That was a lot. Then we had... <sighs> well, there's just, there's just also general narratives, right? Like, you believe yourself to be the dog whisperer of the world. <laughs> And actually what it manifests is... No, yeah, you love dogs. They don't always love you, but the point is... Who cares? Right. A true dog lover doesn't mind. Right. It's all about the love you give off, not the love you receive. OK. I also feel the same way about men, which obviously has not worked out. No, and there are also some... <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> there are points where you've gone up to dogs in, I would say, rabies-infested conditions. <laughs> And yes. you've gone, see if I care, and stroked it and leaped to it. oblivion. <laughs> yes. And yes. I have said, come well, on yeah. now. You don't have health I'm insurance. I'm not going to lie, though. You did it, yeah. Health insurance. Oh, I got to a point. I got health to, no. insurance. <laughs> but I got to a point. <laughs> Who cares? 
Dogs in healthy droids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Canines are in healthy droids is out. I, if you're going to say what I think you're saying, I got to a point in Goa when I was so poorly that I thought I will let this dog kill me. <laughs> is that what you're on about? When yeah, I just started Jack, wrestling around with them on the Jack, sand. Jack, had you know, so if you've heard of Barley Belly, he basically had Deli, Goa. No, yeah, Deli yeah, Belly. Oh, Deli Belly, yeah. Worse. Oh, God, yeah, it that's was. It, I think originally that's the phrase Deli Belly. It was like, Deli Belly, it? yeah, it yeah. was. Barley's just a yuppie version of Deli Belly. Fine, fine. Um, that's what you had, but... And then some. Do you remember we had to go to the, like, GP in a hut? Oh, my God, I forgot about that! And water was literally the running GP through The GP was this random Indian shaman man in a tiny mud hut made of straw. Guys, no, no, and no, no, I, no. And I, he was like, sign your name, and I picked up the pen, signed my name, gave the pen back, and he went, <laughs> and got a tissue, held the pen and, like, cleaned it off, and then and prescribed And we said, these bro, you're in was, a straw hut. And I was, but it was like... He basically was like, you are Inf off infested. the last of us, whatever it is, and you've got that weird disease that's just going to kill everyone. It was... I was honestly treated like I had the plague. We also had to walk miles, by the way, just to find... It's not like being in England. Let's see if I can find that photo of you in that black bikini. Do you remember when you looked clapped? I looked clap the whole of India. You did. Like, I, can I, just pull, I, I can just search India and anything. Yeah, anything that, you, that comes up will be me being clapped. Here we go, here we go. I've... <laughs> didn't, it didn't take long. Are you carrying a skunk? What's that? Oh, it's your shoes. It's my shoes. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> that is... That was after a lot of drink. And... You actually look better there. Are you... Jack! Your cheeks look good. Your teeth don't. Your teeth look so good. My now. teeth were so bad. Look at your lashes. Praise the Lord How nice for your lashes. Line. <gasps> <laughs> Did I have them on there? Are yeah. The, are the well, lashes on there? If you could call it, yeah. <laughs> the photos I've got of me. Guys. Oh, also, most of the photos I've got of you are naked. The, yes. Which is just as per. You look so gleeful, though. I know. I wasn't as depressed there, so maybe no, I need to get you, back to that. Yeah, maybe let's bash your teeth in. <laughs> Invisalign, be gone! I'm not going to lie. Teeth has really changed my entire face. These are just so Oh, cute. look, they're so wholesome. Indian dress. Me and my little Indian saris. Can you cope? It's, it's giving you I... pick it up if it bothers you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I... I was really getting back to my roots you, in India, truly. You were, and we also went with another Indian friend of ours. It was really cute, wasn't it? It was gosh. really nice. But... Wait, what were we just saying? Because you didn't like dogs no. when we got there. Right. Basically, I didn't grow up with pets in the house. I had rabbits, like, in the garden, but that was it. I've never been a dog or a cat person. You also have chickens in your... You have mad things in your house, actually, at back up north. Yeah, but they're not in the house. That's the point. Like, no, not, they're not. I can avoid them. Yeah, but I find it amazing that your mum just goes, do you want an omelette, love? And goes out and just gets it from the arse of a chicken. <laughs> just squeeze it. Just goes... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I, my auntie had a dog, couldn't tell you mm. what type it is, I don't know very much about dogs, but um, it was, I didn't realise it was sitting on the floor and I was on the sofa and I stood up and I stood on its foot and it turned round and, and it bit yelled. me, oh. and I, which is understandable, if someone stood on me I would bite them, Fair. and I like fell forward, my knee landed on her new Prada sunglasses and my chin landed on the table which collapsed, it was like one of them, you know like, Oh, those is it Stuart like a Little or whatever it is, like yeah, yeah, yeah where it effect. allows the ball to fall and then yeah. the, the candle melts <laughs> and all that. So that's what happened. Right. And I think ever since then I've just been like, oof. And then my other auntie had a really big one growing up that would always jump a bit and it just scared me a bit. You don't like jumpy dogs, I have I don't seen... like jumpy things full stop, do I? I can't bear. If someone goes, oh, that's like my worst nightmare. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're not used to do it too when that. I live with her and they fell down the stairs. Do you like frogs then? What, to, like, lips or what? No, 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 just, like, in general, because I... The one animal I really don't like is frogs. Well, no, but, like... Because you they you don't... Uh, you don't... You go, oh, meet my pet frog. Like, I don't have What to... do you mean? Some people have pet frogs. No, but as in you're saying, as in, like... Oh, as, as I also if... probably wouldn't want to meet a buffalo, but I'm not scared <laughs> of them. Yeah. I'm just, like... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? As in, like, OK, frogs are frogs, but no-one's going to be going, like, oh, look, here's it's my frog more, on a leaf. It's more the jumping... Yeah, if someone might. It's more the jumping thing that no, I just... I probably don't love the idea of frogs. I can't fuck with it. I think it's weird... Yeah, ..that fine. you're jumping with nowhere to go and the fact that your tongue is that lot. <laughs> yeah, actually, maybe you're going wrong. Actually? Maybe that's how we find your Prince Charming. 
A frog? Do you know what? I actually didn't mind. Yeah, because you kiss them, don't you? Kiss, they oh, do my God, frogs. yeah. Duh. Is that where that came from? Nah. I am. Uh, my brain's just gone. I actually <laughs> might go. <laughs> yeah, Mum, can you come pick me up? <laughs> I've actually had My brain's just completely gone into the metaverse. It just control deleted. Complete. Is that where that came from? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, all princes started out as frogs. <laughs> 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 I mean, well, that's true. No one knows. Um, so, India. So, yeah, dogs. That's my thing. I just feel like I, I'm much better with dogs now. But we had... Right. He's skipping... It. You want to skirt around it. We had the most magical night under the going stars on the beach. Do you remember? Yeah, that boy trying to lips you. Were you trying to lips him? You were in your desperate bag in India. Oh, was I? Mm. Was I? those two boys that we met? I don't know where we met them. Was it yes. in a hostel? Yes, we met them in a hostel. So we, we made a deliberate decision to do half the holiday in, like, this really sick on the beach hut that it was just me and Jack and it was romance and us lip sync because we thought we want... One to just be pure serenity, didn't yeah. we? And then the other half, we wanted to be able to meet people, make friends, have it be a bit more travel yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So the other half, we stayed in a hostel. Yeah. And we... No, the hostel was so fun. The hostel that, was lit. That was I my first hostels. experience of a hostel, you know? Whereas Joel and I had done four and a half months of hostels when I got bed bugs in South America. In my head, hostels were just like... They can be minging. Hell. They're, it's a total spectrum. It's kind of the same as like right. hotels. You can get right. awful minging ones that you right. like, check the sheets and then five-star ones. So, like, Fine. You, the hostels really do vary. Yeah. But, yeah, it was gorgeous, the one we stayed at. And we met a load of mates at this hostel. Everyone those, was just so nice. All dreads. That was so nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It was yeah. very Eat, Pray, Love tease, wasn't it? It either. was very Eat, Pray, Love. It was, yeah. But yeah. It, it was great. What is it about that? All the white girls move to India and get they dreads. They all do yoga and get dreads and, like, <laughs> just unlearn about cultural appropriation and just go, oh, what's that? I can't read in English anymore, so it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> ah. I'm, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, much to think about they were, that. They is. were kind. They were, yeah. Not to the hair follicles they were. No. I think a, a year no. after we've gone back, they'd have all been bald. Also, it's a protective hairstyle, so, like, what you do, I, as in, I don't yeah. have the hair texture to get. No. Even braids I'm scared to get, because right. I don't, I have Asian hair texture, so, like, I don't know what you do with that. Much to think about. Much to think anyway, about. Anyway, we made so many friends at this hostel, right? With varying we, hairstyles. With, yeah, with lots of different cosplay wigs on. We then ended up on... Getting it? Yes. Well, yeah. Oh, no, you're oh so far away from it now. Me. When did I...? You were right, you were right by the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I was oh, here yeah. with Mock Tudor Tees. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm so into you. I can barely breathe. Oh. So, listen. Oh. Sorry. So I'm we... like Ariana Bag. Ariana. 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 What are you doing? What are you here? doing? Oh, you're okay. Did you hear that? What are you doing for? Oh, you're going to shoot. I've never done that before. Oh, wow. How did you do that? Oh, my God. I just got a little shit in my mouth. Anyway. I think it's time you left. I've lot. <laughs> also you. I want to lips a frog and a prince and they're all the same thing all the time. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh my god! I've never noticed there's a frog on our set! I am gonna lose it! It's your set! I know! <laughs> your fuck lips it then. I can't believe it. I've never noticed that. Brav. Brav. I have not seen beauty before. That's not That beauty. is a discovery. It's not. Do you know what, though? He's actually kind of cute. I will leave him there. I'm he not is. mad about him. He is. Um, so, we had the best night in India. We ended up going to this... We ended up at an Indian wedding. We, but you know why as well, remember? Because it was the election period. They're really yes. strict. You weren't allowed to be at a put like everything shut at like nine or ten so that people wouldn't keep drinking because then there could be civil unrest. That was the justification. Ah. So everything shut, all the restaurants whilst yes. we were in Goa, because it was the Goan elections, shut at like eight or nine, and we were just left to our own devices. You couldn't do anything. It was such a weird time so we period for us to have gone. on the beach. Yes. And basically. But we were there because well, we I was teaching at a school. Yes. And there were a load of stray dogs in India. But what you don't realise, this is so mad. In India, the dogs, they have, like, different packs for different 
It's like areas that you go in, right? Like the hot duck, they all move in different. Do you remember? No, I think I blocked it out because I was scared of them. Oh, really? No, Roshan was telling us this. Like, oh. they all move in certain packs and they all occupy, like, certain areas of the beach. Like drug dealers? Yeah, literally. <laughs> they that. their own territory. Yeah. Oi, you want a shot? It was like that. Oh. Yeah, that. Yeah, right. So we had this one night where we were... We'd had a few... We'd had quite a bit to drink this night. Do you remember that prawn... The Goan prawn curry that we had on the beach watching the, the sunset? I would actually die for that. Delicious. Yeah, and nutritious. And nutritious. Oh. It was unbelievable. And I remember this one night, we were literally... We all just decided to skinny dip, do you remember? So it's us and all the people from this hostel. We took our clothes off. We ran into the sea. The dogs followed the pack of dogs yeah, followed yeah, yeah. i was like i could die you were actually now in heaven. I, i've like never felt that happy around in the sea with a pack frolicking of dogs. in the sea under the going stars with a pack of wolves little <laughs> little did we know that all of them would have had maggots and termites in their scrotum who cares who cares that's what i'm saying and then by the time we got to shore i obviously didn't go in because i didn't want to be with the dogs yeah but then so i sat on the sand all of a sudden by myself. yeah you did but all of a sudden i turned around and jack is with six dogs like this i actually was in heaven yeah i loved it and you really loved it and i said this is it this is the time you got converted i think it, I think it has it has been a turning point I, it was I would definitely say, a turning point. i would say i like dogs like bex is at crufts today and she sent me all these photos of the dogs that she's with She's at Crafts. I think Maddie's there as well. Yeah, she said she's gone up north with her parents for it. Um, and wow. look at this, though. Look how amazing. As in just all these... And I look at them now and I'm like... Oh, my God! These look dogs, at that one. Hang on, dogs, hang on. You have to show that one. Like, I'm like, these dogs are gorgeous, haven't it? That's me after a night out. With so food around you could... your chops. <laughs> That's you when you got your lashes done. <laughs> But they're just all so cute. They're look, like they're so absolutely cute. Gorgeous. And now I look at them and I'm like, okay, this is di that is divine. That is divine. That belongs on a red carpet. Yeah. That's so lit. So so I think it has changed. You have converted. I tell you what, I haven't converted to <laughs> from. Please. What do you think I'm gonna say? Okay. Oh, being open to love. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Will you always berate me for like not wanting to? That's not even oh, what no. I was gonna say. I am so dead. <laughs> well, if the shoe fits. <laughs> no, I was going to say, do you remember those awful massages we got in India? But I love a massage. Yeah, not when you get beaten up. That was... Well, I was beaten up. You were frigged. Oh, I was shy. Yeah. I was lit. <laughs> Guys, we have to tell you about these massages. They were absolutely... OK. Bearing in mind, we booked this, with the same company. Yeah. We got a massage at the same time. Yes. I was in one room. There was a thin veil between the necks, and then there was you. <laughs> and we come out, and we both went, oh, my God. And it then we, was... like, blurted it. We went, go on, you tell me. Me. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it was just started at one point. He was, like, whacking me and elbowing me, and, like, I'm, I'm feeling more pain than I went in. You. Yeah, so he started rubbing my tits. <laughs> Hand down to my fanny. God, I, like, I think guys. we signed up to very different massages. No, guys, so basically, Jack went, Jack said, I am getting a deep tissue massage. I can't massage. be doing with a pussy old massage. If I'm getting a massage, right. I don't want to fall asleep. I want you. To, I want a sports massage. You want to get eat. ras. Yeah. I'm the opposite. Yeah. I want you to love me right. in a massage. I don't want to, as in, like, don't lips me, but, like, well... Who cares? <laughs> but I want to feel nice. I want to feel relaxed. I don't like this, like... Right. Like, I don't want that in a massage. You like that, yeah, though. You want to really, like, feel... And also, I feel like you're a, you're a big man. Like, right. you need to get in the nooks and crannies. The way we signed up to... You signed up to be... We both Freddie... signed up to s and by Rihanna, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but in very different very ways. Very different ways. Yeah. I was... Tickled you and were, I may be bad, but I'm perfectly good at it. Yeah. Whips and chains excited. And, and you were just, na, I, na, 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 come yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. I was writhing around in pain and discomfort. You were writhing around because you were in ecstasy. <laughs> no, I will tell you what was going through my brain. You know when you go for a full body massage, you are laid down like this on the couch, right? Your head is inside the little holy hole. That already makes me feel hell, that yeah. holy thing. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Isn't it? I just, All you can ever see is their feet. I find the whole thing really strange. So my head's in the hole, 
He starts massaging me. Then he goes, turn over. I'm obviously only in a bikini. So I was like, normally, don't they do that thing when you turn over that, like... They hold the towel above you. That, yeah, you have the towel covering... Then they hold it and they go, please turn over. Yeah, you have the towel you. on your fairy parts. So, like, you can't see... Obviously, you're not meant to see my crown jewels. Anyway... Or so we thought. Yeah, or so I thought. Clearly not so know he goes, turn over. I went, all right, I'm still in my bikini. I'm feeling a little bit... Now I'm exposed, cos I'm like, you're not just seeing my back and crack, you're seeing... My sack. ..my feminine wiles. Yeah. So now I'm out like this and I've got my bikini on, right? And he went... <laughs> he went, you mind if I... I went, what? <laughs> he went, you mind if I... I seem to be like, take the take my top off. Oh, I thought it was like, write you a letter. No. <laughs> and I went... <laughs> Sign away the deed. I went, yeah. <laughs> but, again, not sure if this is meant to be happening, but I thought maybe this is just native to an Indian massage. Right. So... He could have done anything he wanted. And you and I would have said... Who am I to be disrespectful to the local... <laughs> I country? said, listen, for the culture. Yeah, in it. So I said, whatever. So I took my bikini top off. Now I'm sitting there tits to the wall, right? He goes like this, baby oil, all over my areolas. In a cauldron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the three Ooh. witches of Macbeth appeared. When shall we, we three meet, meet again? again? Thunder, lightning, <laughs> or rain? He literally lathers my tits in oil. I honestly, you could have deep fried fr I was gonna say, a load yeah. of McCain oven chips la, 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 on my la. breasticles at this point. <laughs> and I was like, this can't be normal. He then goes, <laughs> I can't wish I wish that you guys could see. He's just like this. <laughs> Played him like DJ Jack. <laughs> on my boobs during the massage. And I just thought, this wow. can't be right. You, yeah, I thought, you started seeing stars. I thought, wow. This is a full of stars. I just thought, this can't be real. Like, this can't be what's allowed. Also, me getting my spine broken next door. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Meanwhile, Jack's being <laughs> literally Murdered. whacked with pots and pans. You said at one point, the man stood on you. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That is... And he that's... wasn't a slight bloke, either. No, he was a He was proper... giving fat controller. Yeah. Yeah. And he stood on your back. I think he jumped. I think he was doing burpees on me at one point. <laughs> With a press up. So can you imagine, we came out of this massage and just... We both... I was four inches smaller than when I went in. <laughs> yeah. You had a right pep in your step. And I was a chip fryer. I literally... We both came out, right? Yeah. Like this. Do you know what I mean? I can't even imagine what your eyelashes look like. Can you imagine? <laughs> we came out like this. I was in... You were dying! I was in disarray. It was absolutely... It was so funny. Yeah. And we... I can't believe we haven't spoken about that more, actually, because that was a really funny experience. Yeah. I think I pushed it to the back of my mind, to be honest. Oh, well, yeah, because if you really think about it, what happened, like, it's not great. What happened there, was it? I was in India when I got beaten up. Yeah, and I, I paid, got and I paid, a, <laughs> paid a service for it. That's what, that's the worst thing. We, we paid, paid for, for it. it. And he got... In rupees. In rupees <laughs> and diamonds. Uh, <laughs> Good afternoon, Riddlers. I've got a wild one for you. Um, guys, we haven't done one of these for ages. The man, the myth, the legend, my dad, Phil Home, is going to be Riddler on the Roof. <sighs> Hello, Riddlers. The question is, what has six faces but does not wear makeup, has 21 eyes but cannot see? A dice. I was going to say a Rubik's Cube, Ooh. but yeah, it's a dice. Well done. Is that it? Yeah. Because it added to 21, because I was like, oh, it's... I knew it was a cube of some, some sort. Some sort of game tease. Well done, good girl. God, I'm not normally that quick. <laughs> well done. I, I love you. Love you. Um, so, I think that's all we have time for, my love. It's all right, see you next week. <laughs> well, I'll see you tonight, when we make children. Oh, sorry, of course. Yes. <laughs> At <Tyra's door. laughs> um, no, the massage parlour. <laughs> Shut up, Shut. I'm never going back to a massage parlour ever again. I'm putting again. my hater blockers back on. I can't be doing with this. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> blocking out the haters. Blocking out the haters. So, things we've learned from today. Go and watch the Jack and Ash show.
please. Dogs are better than life insurance. Don't get your eyelashes done. Don't get eyelash extensions. <laughs> Don't get a massage in India unless you want either beaten up or shagging. Um, so if actually they get a massage in India. If they start to play with your tits in a massage, say yes. Just hum a simple jingle. <laughs> Okay, that is all we have time for today, guys. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe if you're watching. Leave me five stars if you're listening. Love me, lips me, tell your nan, tell your dog, tell your masseuse, but don't let them rub your tits. Oh. I love you.